A judge is now advancing the murder charges against three men in the death of Ahmad Arbery. This comes after a hearing was held today to decide whether there's enough evidence to proceed to trial in the case of three white men in Georgia accused of killing Arbery while he was out for a run. And a warning for you now, the language that was part of the testimony may be offensive to some viewers. CBS News correspondent Laura Podesta reports from New York. A special agent for the Georgia Bureau of Investigation testified that one of the defendants used a racial slur after the killing of Ahmad Arbery in February. The shooting incident took place about here. Richard Dial laid out the case against father and son Greg and Travis McMichael and William Roddy Bryan, who are accused of chasing down Arbery in their neighborhood, repeatedly boxing him in with their pickup trucks. He described a conversation Bryan told him about when Travis McMichael allegedly said the N-word. Mr. Bryan said that after the shooting took place, before police arrival, while Mr. Aubrey was on the ground, that he heard Travis Michael make the statement, F me. Federal hate crime charges could be filed in the case. A special prosecutor was assigned after local prosecutors declined to press charges for months. Brian captured part of the shooting on his cell phone. You hear a shot, then um, you see Travis Michael moving backwards with um, Mr. Aubrey. Um, obviously, they were engaged in a physical confrontation at this point. Um, they go off the screen. You then hear a second shot where you see blood. Greg McMichael told police after the shooting that he suspected Arbery of committing break-ins in the neighborhood. He says he acted out of self-defense. Travis McMichael is accused of firing three shots in all. He and his father face charges of felony murder and aggravated assault. Brian is charged with felony murder and illegally using a vehicle to try and confine and detain Arbery. Laura Podesta, CBS News. None of the suspects appeared in court today because of the coronavirus outbreak. Still to come, even as states reopen, there are indications the economic pain from the COVID-19 crisis is still very much present in America.